Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Everyone's in their seats here at the Oracle Arena as the Golden State Warriors look to grab a win in front of the home crowd here. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. Cleveland is working their way through a road trip going into today's game. Still trying to find that groove they had last year. They'd like to grab hold of some new momentum and get closer to where they were a season ago. Well, I think for Cleveland, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. Yeah, Greg, I'm not sure if this could be written off as just a slow start. I think uh, this might be the team they really are. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Well, guys, we know how dominant the Warriors are, but we also know that turnovers remain their Achilles heel. Now, Steve Kerr says sometimes the game comes too easy for our guys. They think they can do anything. We just have to keep it simple. The simple leads to the spectacular. And as the simple reporter, I send it back to the spectacular Kevin Harlan. DA, thank you. And by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. You know, Chris, I don't know if we can call it unexpected, but a couple highly regarded rookies have struggled so far to begin the year right out of the gate. You have to learn your way in here. Just because you were great on one level does not guarantee you success at this level. And that's why you have to come in with a great work ethic and an open ear and a heart that's really trying to understand the concepts of the game. It's a huge adjustment going from college to the pros. You think about it, you're playing against guys that are stronger, sure. guys that have more of a mental advantage because they've been through the situation that you're going through the first time over over and over and over the game is much faster players are much better and the thing I think is usually the biggest kind of separator of, of levels is that your athletic ability no longer means anything very rarely do you come from college being the best athlete and now the best athlete in the NBA hmm. so many different levels and, and you just hope that guys don't get caught in the struggle but understand that the struggle for any player is part of the game part of the transition from college to the pro look at Cleveland's starting group Nance and Thompson are up front Sexton is out there with Rodney Hood and it's Smith in at the three side <laughs> Durant does such a good job of getting high percentage offensive plays. I mean, you, you can see that over the years. And here are the Cavaliers. Hood kicks to Sexton. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Hood against Thompson. Just four to shoot. With the putback. Great positioning on the putback. Nance has got his first bucket of the night. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? And that one's good. Durant. Oh, Durant, he's so skilled on the offensive end. He can shoot the long ball, comfortable on the block, drive to the hole, dunk over you, give you the jump hook, post game, turn around. I mean, and look, that time, he makes a play for me. Here's Hood. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Sexton the pass to Hood. From deep three-point range. No good there. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Raymond Green at 6'7", seen as undersized coming out of Michigan State, but his seven foot one wingspan goes a long way. Yeah, it goes a long way along with working out and, and, and working hard as he does. I mean, he's averaged over a block a game for his career. You know, combined with his low center of gravity, it enables him to defend much bigger players, but also get on the wing and defend some guards. And here's Sexton after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Nance, no good. D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. Here's Thompson. Sexton grabs the board. The Cavaliers trail by three. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. 
the teardrop falls in. You know, Crafty it, it just capitalizing there on the floater. Give Sexton room to shoot that shot, and he's going to take it. Now, here's Green. Not a good performance from him in that loss to Houston. Here's Cook down low. On the wing, Thompson. Goodbye, Hood. 